Throwing over to Bobby Burrows. A little bit of a kind of stretch defense here. Miranda Murphy struggled with it. Over to Bobby Burrows in the corner. She'll drive. Throws it over. And it's tipped by Wickingston, but tracked down by Katie Summer. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Looking to set something up. It's a too high set. Thrown over to Miranda Murphy, to Bobby Burrows, and inside to Kaylee Cladivo. She goes up, and she's fouled by Ellen Gleason. Second foul there on Ellen Gleason. It would be Kaylee Cladivo to the line again. 14 points in the first half for the Knights senior leader. First free throw is up, and it's good. Kaylee Cladivo, a 71% free throw shooter on the season. Already 3-3 three of three in today's game. We have some interesting last names out on the floor today. Got Cladivo, Elling Houston, Wickingson, Sicken Eater was on the floor for a while. The Childress backing up Summer and it, she falls down, but good recovery defense there from the Knights. If the pass is tipped by Burroughs, it's batted around by a couple players, and it's going to be Knights ball. A little bit of a disgruntled look on the faces of some of the Vikings players, but the refs made the call, so it'll be going back to Warburg the other way. And it looks like the officials weren't quite clear on what exactly happened, but they ended up choosing the Warburg side there, which was, I guess, a lucky break for us, if you can call it that. The Vikings out there in a 3-2 zone, something you don't see a lot of. And it's Bobby Burroughs from the corner. Her three will rattle in and out. Rebound fought for by Miranda Murphy, but it's Ellen Huyson getting it to Childress the other way. Thrown down to Wickinson. She's guarded by Katie Summer. She stopped on the drive. Childress at the top of the key, guarded by Burroughs. Trying to get it to Sandy. She's still being face guarded by Christy Summer. It's Wickinson trying to get some off the screen from Ellen Huyson. The Childress in the corner. She'll bring it up to the top of the key. Get a spin move. Good dribble move there from Childress as she's fouled on the shot attempt by Miranda Murphy. A little fake go, and she'll go the other way. And she gets right to the rim and picks up the foul. Be Childress to the line for the first time in today's game. She was two of six in the three-point arc in the first half. She'll miss her first free throw attempt. Second free throw attempt is up, and it's also missing a good box out and rebound there from Kaylee Cladivo. And it's Katie Summer leading the offense there for the Knights. It's 43 to 25 here. Levick Arena. Still the 3-2 zone for the Vikings. Katie Summer to Bobby Burrows over on the wing. She'll drive, and it's thrown to Miranda Murphy, who can't handle the pass. And it's Sandine going the other way, looking to get some help. She'll blow right past Katie Summer, looking for some help defense. But Sandine will get right to the rim. And she's now in a double figures with 11. It'll be interesting to see if she hits her average for the year so far. As we mentioned before, she's averaging 26.3 points a game, Haley Sandin is. And she's up to 11 now, so it'll be interesting. Childress, after baiting too far on the pass and led to a basket for Cladabo, she comes down and makes up for it as she drills home her third three of the game. All nine of her points coming off of threes. Pass in low to Cladavo. She'll go up. Can't put it in. And on the rebound, it's tipped out of bounds. And last touch by Cladavo. You know, it's kind of interesting to see them in this 3-2 zone. It's generally used to take away um, three-point attempts around the arc. But against the Knights, they've found a lot of their success inside. And usually you'll see a 2-3 against that. But so far in the second half, the uh, Vikings have had success. On the shot attempt by Sandine, it's an air ball. And it'll land out of bounds. And it'll go back to the Knights. Sandine not finding her usual uh, offense ability so far. She's met by some tough defense on every possession. Katie Summer bringing it down. Childress has been very aggressive in the passing lanes. It's Miranda Murphy to Katie Summer in the corner. Tries to get it over to Bobby Burroughs, but it's tipped out of bounds by Frederick Childress. And it'll be the Knights ball with 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Burroughs inbounds to Katie Summer. Seem to be a little bit confused on offense. They haven't been able to get much set up. First time they've seen a 3-2 zone, I believe, on the season. It's Bobby Burroughs with a no-look pass into Lloyd Cladivo, who will miss, throw, get her own board, put it up, and she'll miss again, unfortunately. And it's going back the other way. Seems to be a little flustered here in the second half. Childers launch another three, and it's miss. 
Rebound by Ellie Wiesen. It's a reach in foul on Cladovo. That's her third foul of the game. And that's not something you want to see from your star player on the day. She gets two more fouls, she's out of the game. So it looks like Aaron Jones is going to be coming in for her and giving her some time. Biggest difference between Cladabo and Jones is Jones usually doesn't look to score. When she gets the ball down low, she'll usually looking for a double team and trying to get it back out. She can score if needed to, but more of a defensive player for the Knights. Sandine with the ball, handoff to Wickingston. She'll go one way and go back the other, throws it up, tries, shot was obviously affected there by Jones as it was a, a large lob there. Wasn't just large, it was huge. Katie Summer over to Bobby Burrows. Throw it to Christy Summer at the top of the key to Katie Summer in the corner. Will throw it down low to Jones. Able to finish through contact, no foul called. But a good play there from the former Linmar Lions as they play, three of them played together in high school down at the Linmar High School. Wickingson over to Childress, guarded by Summer. Screened by Elling Huyson. It's a switch over and Childress will go in. Gets through the defense but unable to finish and it's rebounded by Jones and passes it to Summer. Erin Jones coming off the bench making a pretty big statement for herself so far. She has two points, two rebounds and she pretty much just came into the game in relief for Clanavo. So I'm looking for them to maybe use her a little bit more in her absence. Christy Summer throws it to Miranda Murphy in the corner. No one steps out to guard her so she'll knock down her fourth jumper of the game and she's up to nine points for the Knights in today's game. Sandine guarding, or driving, excuse me, and she'll be met by a couple defense, but no one switches off to her, and she'll knock down a jumper of her own, cutting the lead back down to 17. A little bit of a breakdown there defensively for the Knights. Christy Summer trying to thread the needle down to Jones, and it's tipped out of bounds by Sandine, and it'll be Morgan Neuendorf coming into the game for Miranda Murphy. So she'll probably slide into that four spot, and they'll be running a four out, one in around Jones. Good quick hands there by Sandine. It, look, it looks like they were about to get it to Aaron Jones down low, but she just stuck her hand up right at the right moment. And it's Katie Summer for three from the corner. Her first three of the game, as we've said before, she's been absolutely on fire from three point range last couple of games. Coming to today's game, 10 for her last 11. She's one of three on the day. And back the other way is Childress trying to answer. She'll airball it. Good box out there for Morgan Duendorf, but it's thrown back in by a second eater. And it's a three-point attempt from Sandine. No good. It's rebounded by Neuendorf. She'll outlet to Katie Summer, Christy Summer, excuse me, who will be fouled by Sandine. Good patient offense there rather than just going up and forcing a shot. Able to take her time and get fouled. And she'll be at the free throw line. But more importantly, that's the third foul on Sandine. Yeah, and just like Kaladovo with having her three fouls that's certainly something that the Knights do not or that Vikings excuse me do not want to see especially from their leading scorer who is by far and away leading the team in points per game and in points tonight Christy Summer goes two of two from the line and the lead now back up to 22 for the Knights first time they've led by that amount since there were three minutes left in the first half it's Ellen Huyson over on the corner, gives it to Wickingston, and it's Chicken Eater with the ball. Childress at the top of the key, finds Wickingston, and she'll drive from the corner, throw it up, and it rattles in and out. Tough break there. I mean, Burrow's bringing the ball down. Christy Summer trying to get out there, but no pass found her. It's Burrows over to Neuendorf in the corner. She'll launch a three, it's no good. Tipped out by Katie Summer. Good hustle there from the sophomore point guard. Morgan Neuendorf again, this time a couple steps in, and this one is also no good. This time rebounded by the Vikings. Childers bringing it down, not being stopped by anyone, and she's going to go right to the hoop, but she's unable to finish. A couple players fought for the board there, but Katie Summer comes up with it. She'll trip, fall down, but able to get the ball to Burroughs, who will bring it down. It's a three-on-three -three break. She'll drive in into a little kick, and it's thrown to Neuendorf to Mur at the elbow, and Aaron Jones able to knock it in, showing a little bit of her range. She's up to six points now in relief of Cladabo. I was sort of keeping an eye on some of the players during warm-ups, and Aaron Jones is one that I noticed. She is really good, especially from the range that she was just standing in, three-point three line in the elbows over there. She, she's she got some good range on her jumpers, and she's showing it off here a little bit. 
Sandine looking to be forced a little bit offensively. She'll throw up a little bit of a wild jumper, and it's rebounded by the Knights going the other way. Katie Summer finds Burroughs in the corner, thrown down low to Aaron Jones. She's double teamed. She'll go up and fights through a couple of hands. No foul called, but she'll put it in. What a play there from the sophomore from Linmar. At the elbow at Sandine, it'll be a timeout here for the Vikings, their third of the game. They currently find themselves down 26 points. The offense of the Knights picking up right where it left off. And it's a minute timeout. We're going to be right back after 30 seconds. You're watching Warburg Basketball and Warburg Night Vision, powered by Waverly Utilities. <laughs> <laughs> 